I hate to admit it, but this place is impressive. This place must have been impressive back in the day, but now it's just decrepit. Looks like it's been abandoned for centuries. Luckily, I came prepared. How do you feel about trying something unconventional? The members of House Ravenwatch exchange vials of their own blood. That shows a rare level of trust, even among vampires, since blood can be used in all sorts of spells, both beneficial and harmful. I brought some of Verandas' blood with me. By putting a drop of his blood in this potion, we can dreamwalk and access any memories Verandas has of this place. I'll leave it here on the table for when you're ready. I'd drink it myself, but a dreamwalk requires an impartial participant. Dangerous, not usually. The potion mixes alchemy and magic, Verandas' own design. It lets the imbiber experience the memories of the person whose blood is added to the concoction. The potion is on the table. Make sure you drink the whole thing. Exarch Verandas, while we have your crates moved to your study, Exarch Singalis and Ulfra would like a word. It is good to see you, Exarch Verandas. Lord Rada al Saran will be pleased you accepted his invitation. You have been terribly missed. Exarchs Ulfra and Singalis asked me to send you to them as soon as you arrived. They wish to speak with you. Of course, Lord Verandis. My apologies. Please, you shouldn't keep the Exarchs waiting. Exarch Ulfra likes to look out over the courtyard from the eastern balcony. Exarch Singalis rarely leaves his laboratory on the upper level. Both want to see you. I will inform you once your crates have been moved to the study set aside for you. Smell them, Verandis. Pray on the wind. We should be out hunting them, not uselessly debating in these halls of stone. When you see Lord Rada al Saran, do not continue your age old argument. He needs to remain focused. I'll never understand your obsession with sheep, Verandis. There are hunters and prey. We are hunters. Your sympathy for prey borders on the insane. As were you, until Morlog Baal made you into something more, something worthy. Lord Hersene made me one of his most powerful hunters, because he knew mortality restricted me. I could not reach my full potential until he rescued me from that fate. The wolf does not fear a thousand rabbits. It merely enjoys the bounty her scene has provided. Humans, no matter how large their pathetic armies grow, will never threaten us. Come to your senses, Verandis. Come back to your brothers and sisters. You're a fool, Verandis. You always have been. Why does Lord Radha al Saran continue to humor you? We don't need you on the Grey Council. You aren't even fit to be one of Styrik's foot soldiers. Go bother someone else with your nonsense. Greyholm is impressive. I won't deny that. But I detest all the sitting around and debating. I'm a hunter. I ache to feel a mortal writhe in my grasp, to watch the blood spray against the dirt. Don't you? Why do I even try to talk to you about such things? Lord Radha al Saran should have dealt with you years ago, but he keeps calling you back. Ugh! 